Finally, the answer why the AFT would decline access to churches for family films was here. Michael used his skills as an expert in embed art and extracted several dozen images of meticulously embedded sexual and occult horror. After I discovered the Archdiocese of Toronto painting on their website and found over 150 embeds. And there are all kinds of level embeds, many faces and others, but the ones that stand out the most would be this particular face in the red background, the face of the devil with horns, a face of the devil with upside down triangles in the right corner, In the trees, a demonic horned horse cow looking face in the leaves. On the rear end of one of these beasts, a smiley face. On the right shoulder of the crippled boy, a face looking to the right, as you can see the nostrils and eyebrows, even the nose bridge extending past the shoulder. This boy is pointing this upside down A, A meaning the Antichrist, A meaning anarchy, not a crutch, but an A pointing at this particular Christ. This is a gigantic scene of masturbation. I mean, there are so many people that are fondling themselves and each other. If you saw these people at a bus stop somewhere in a conservative city, they'd probably be arrested. But if you look, you'll see this one man grabbing his crotch, and right next to it, is this gigantic sperm smiling right into the crotch, looking right in with a nose sticking out. You have, throughout this painting, people grabbing each other. This woman pulling this man's hand onto her crotch. This couple, one guy is looking down the shirt of this woman, pulling her hand to him, and she's putting her hand in her genital area. On the right shoulder of the Christ, there is a horse, a dragon, blowing fire. There are numerous faces on the bodies of these people. There is a transsexual person who is holding the hands of this young boy, who is entertaining the fact of going to this red-dressed Jesus. And there's a face on the boy's body. That transsexual person has a phallic symbol that's apparent and has horizontal lines at the tip. The actual pant line of this transsexual person is very low. So it's some women features, some men features, short hair, but yet a feminine face, but very big hands. And you can't see the breasts because the person next to it is being covered by its arm. And that arm at the end of the hand is somebody sticking up its middle finger at the Christ, who's supposed to be the Christ. Kalache immediately sought to remove the painting that the AFT effectively used to display as a trademark that put the world on notice that their site is being used as a programming portal. He then acted as an art dealer and discussed the AFT website at length with web designer Brian McIntosh from Base2Concepts.com, which was formerly CMAC Web Design. Macintosh admitted that he was the one that the AFT invited into the Archdiocese offices to requisition the original painting, of which they then approved. The AFT then promoted and executed this plan since 1999. This acronym, fittingly spelling R-A-P-E, became the title of Kalache's investigative report. Shortly thereafter, on January 1st, 2004, the Solemnity of the Virgin Mary, which is a feast day in the Catholic Church, AFT parishes handed out calendars entitled Church Art 2004 with monthly paintings by artist John Arvid Nelson. However, this was no ordinary calendar. Members of the occult world are obsessed with their numerology and will often conspire to mark disturbances and create special events in order to give them more meaning on specific dates, times, and places to spite all that is good. 
while being certain that the trademarks of the events are noticed by their brethren. Here you see the Good Shepherd. Now, if Jesus wasn't a shepherd, he was a carpenter. So therefore, you sometimes see Jesus and a flock of sheep, but that's because the sheep are significant of who we are, his sheep. But if you look carefully, you'll see that there's something wrong with what Jesus is wearing. If you look directly, directly at his chest, you will see a large hanging phallic symbol, uncircumcised, coming out of his chest. Cylindrical, displaced, without testicles. These are forms of camouflage, in addition to the fact that you're using the emotional element of religion to fool people. Because, of course, a penis is, doesn't belong there. Jesus was a Jew who was circumcised, and this is uncircumcised. To the right, you can see that there's a sheep at the very corner, and at the rear end of this sheep, you see this three-quarter face, open mouth, little sheep, right at the anal opening of this particular sheep. Above that, there's a gigantic ant or alien bug stuck to this particular sheep, showing alien, cryptic, reptilian, occult world. And then, if you look at the right sleeve of what's supposed to be Jesus, you see the snake head painted with an open mouth, sort of aiming toward this penis coming out of the chest. And you see how the penis is sort of semi-erect, aiming toward this particular mouth, signifying the possibility of fellatio. And then right on the crotch area of what's supposed to be Christ is a partially hidden face of some kind of demon. You have an eye, you have a nose, eyebrow, part of the smile, and part of it is covered by this particular cloak. This was on the cover of this particular calendar, and it uh, literally was uh, distributed to most of the people at the Archdiocese of Toronto, one of the largest archdioceses in the world. And when they turn the calendar to May, they get to see this all bright and not quite cheery.